Hello there! What's up guys? Welcome back to Hytale Loop. League of Legends and Valorant developer Riot Games just shared its next big bet. On Thursday, the company said it had acquired Hypixel Studios, the creator of an upcoming role-playing game called Hytale. If you're not familiar with the game, think Minecraft but with more of a focus on adventuring and combat. Riot didn't disclose the financial terms of the acquisition, however it doesn't sound like Riot plans to change too much about how the studio functions. The company says Hypixel will retain its current structure, which plans to open a new office in Northern Ireland that will host additional back office and quality assurance staff. Riot adds it will share its experience in developing and publishing acclaimed player-focused games with Hypixel. The acquisition is the latest move in what has already been a big year for a studio that for the longest time only had one game to its name. It's also not surprising to see Riot try to recreate the success of Minecraft. The now almost 10 year old title is one of the most popular games in the world at the moment. In 2019, Microsoft said it had roughly 112 monthly active users, playing it almost as popular as League of Legends. It's a smart bet when you consider Microsoft paid $2.5 billion in 2014 to acquire Mojang, Minecraft's developer. There's no guarantee Hytale will become even a fraction as popular as Minecraft, however judging by the fact Hytale's announcement trailer has 55 million views on YouTube, there's obviously a lot of excitement for the title. We'll see if Riot's bet will have paid off sometime in 2021 when Hytale comes out. What happens when the announcement trailer for your indie game gets 54 million views and counting? Well. First, your website has a minor meltdown. There was a moment when the countdown hit zero and the website script just didn't quite perfectly fire. Project lead Aaron Noxy Donahue recalls, Everyone on the Hytale team spread all across the world and gathered on TeamSpeak for the occasion, held their breath for a few good seconds, then the network team sprang into action to fix the issue. And there was an inhalation, we watched the trailer once and nothing was happening for like the first two minutes. But as people started to finish the video, comment after comment after comment appeared underneath it. The reaction video started rolling in 10 minutes later. It was Donahue Exhale's Euphoric is an understatement. His fear was that Hytale, a game with more than a passing resemblance to Minecraft, created by many people with a background in running a successful Minecraft server, would be dismissed as yet another title destined for the ever-growing block game graveyard. But the trailer, which showed off features such as realistically lit and animated worlds, adventure and minigame modes, extensive modding, and an in-game animation tool and even live scripting, immediately struck a chord. We had an internal poll on how many of you used Donnie, he says. In my head, you know, anything below 250,000, I'm disappointed. 500,000, I'm happy. And a million, I'm like super happy. At the end of the first week, the trailer hit 11 million views, the eyes of thousands of players, and some of the biggest players in the game industry are now very much upon the project he's leading. I don't want to come across like, oh, we're burdened with all this interest to last, but it does change things. It undeniably changes things. Before Hytale, there was Hypixel, started by Simon Collins of Flame and Philip Touche. It was one of the many fan-made Minecraft servers that popped up in 2013. Players were getting good at using Minecraft creation tools, most often Redstone, the game's simplified version of electronics, to build complicated contraptions and incorporate them into adventure maps, focused campaigns that others could download and play, provided they had the technical know-how to get it running. Many did not. The process of hunting for hidden folders, ensuring the server config was working and that chosen mod was compatible with the version of the game you were using, as well as the client you are using it with, was a headache. And so Collins of Flame and Touche decided to run a server that would function as a playable library of all their adventure maps, where players could simply join the server to access a suite of games. It quickly became popular. There were sometimes hundreds of people queuing in the lobby waiting for their adventure to begin. It was chaos. The solution? Introduce short entertaining minigames to keep people occupied. Snowball fights or quake homages, or even a curious thing called Hunger Games inspired by a new film series where you battle to be the last player standing in an ever shrinking arena. Unsurprisingly in hindsight, these short, fast, rewarding, and even social minigames soon became the main draw of the server. Indeed, it drew in Donahue 2, an indie developer and a Minecraft player since beta. A kind of server slash social experiment called Civcraft opened my eyes to the possibilities of things that could be done in Minecraft. He ended up getting a job at the game server host Multiplay, helping with customer support as in his words, the Minecraft guy at the company. This brings us to the end of our video, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. I'll catch you next time, goodbye.